Hello and welcome to Knitting Crochet with Jaina. In this tutorial we are going to learn a very pretty crochet pattern for a shawl. You can use this pattern also for a sweater, for a scarf, for a jacket or blanket. I used for my shawl acrylic yarn special for shawls and hook size number 3. You can choose any yarn you like and the right size of hook. Let's do it step by step together. For my example I'm going to use uh, acrylic yarn in hook size number 3. I start to make now the basic rounds and then we have to repeat only two rows. You will see it's very very easy. I start with a magic circle. I wrap the yarn two times around my fingers. I go under the first thread, I grab the second thread, under the first and I have now a loop on my hook. I grab the yarn, the long yarn, and I pull it through the loop. Continue now with three chain stitches. I count these chains as my first double crochet. And I do another double crochet into the circle. Chain two and another two double crochets into the same circle. One, two. And I'm going to pull the thread now. I turn my work and in the space between the double crochets I do a slip stitch. So I'm going to work into the space. Chain three. This is my first double crochet. And one double crochet into the space. Chain two. Another two double crochets into the same space. One. Two. Chain one and another two double crochets into the same space. One, two. Chain two and another two double crochets into the same space. So those are my basic rows and I start now with my two pattern rows. Into the space between the double crochets one slip stitch. Chain three, I count this as my first double crochet and another double crochet into the same space. Chain two and two double crochets into the same space. One, two. Now, I have here a space, one space on the right side, one in the middle and one on the left side. In the middle, I'm going to make one double crochet and one puff stitch with four yarn overs. So one yarn over, insert the hook into the space, grab the yarn, pull through. Keep all the loops on the hook. Second yarn over into the space, grab the yarn, pull through. A third yarn over into the space, grab the yarn, pull through. And a fourth yarn over into the space, grab the yarn and pull through. I hold the thread now, the yarn, with my two fingers. I grab the yarn and I pull through all the loops except the first one. I have now two loops on my hook. Where my fingers are is a small space now. I insert my hook into the space, I grab the yarn and I pull through. I have now three loops on my hook. 
I grab the yarn and I pull through all these three loops. My puff stitch is done. Into the same space I'm going to work now a double crochet. And this is my pattern. I have now one double crochet, a puff stitch and another double crochet into the same chain. I go now to the last space between my double crochets and I do two double crochets into the same space. One, two, chain two and another two double crochets into the same space. My first row is done. I turn my work into the space one slip stitch. So I'm going to work into the space now. Chain three, this is my first double crochet and another double crochet into the same space. Chain two and another two double crochets into the same space. This is the way how I start always my rows. Two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Now, without a chain, I'm going to work into the space between the puff stitch and the double crochets. I do into the space one double crochet. Chain three, And over my puff stitch is a chain. Into this chain a single crochet. Chain three. And here's the next space between the puff stitch and the double crochets. Into this space one double crochet. Without chains now, into the space between the double crochets two double crochets into the same space, one, two, chain two and another two double crochets into the same space. My second row is done. I have two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets and this is how I finish every row. I turn my row a slip stitch into the space and chain three. This is my first double crochet, another double crochet into the same space, chain two and another two double crochets into the same space. This is now like a small border. Now without chains I'm going to work into the chain from the double crochet. I do now again my puff stitches. One double crochet into the chain from the double crochet. One puff stitch into the same chain with four yarn overs. The first yarn over into the chain, grab the yarn, pull through. Second yarn over into the chain, grab the yarn, pull through. Third yarn over into the chain, grab the yarn, pull through and a fourth yarn over into the chain, grab the yarn, pull through. Hold the yarn with your fingers, grab the yarn, pull through all the loops except the first one. Two loops are on the hook. We have now again a small space where the fingers are. Into the space, grab the yarn, pull through. Now we have three loops on the hook. Grab the yarn and pull through this three loops. The puff stitch is done. Into the same chain, one double crochet. And we have again one double crochet, a puff stitch and another double crochet. Now, chain three. Go to the next double crochet. Skip the single crochet, go to the double crochet and into the chain from the double crochet a new double crochet and a puff stitch with four yarn overs the first yarn over the second yarn over the
the third yarn over and the fourth yarn over. Hold the yarn now again with your fingers, grab the yarn with your hook, pull through all the loops except the first one. Insert your hook into the space where your fingers are, grab the yarn, pull through. We have now three loops on the hook. Grab the yarn and pull through these three loops. Now into the same chain one double crochet. Without chain now, into the space two double crochets, one, two. Chain two and another two double crochets into the same space. This is how I finish always my rows. I turn my rope. I have now two puff stitches. A slip stitch into the space and chain three. This is my first double crochet. Another double crochet into the same space. Chain two and two more double crochets into the same space. This is how I start always my rows. Now, without a chain, one double crochet into the space between the puff stitch and the double crochets. One double crochet. And from now, I do three chains. One, two, three and over the puff stitch into the chain one single crochet chain three again and into the space one double crochet chain three into the chain over the puff stitch one single crochet chain three into the space between the puff stitch and the double crochets one double crochet now without chains into the last space two double crochets one two chain two and another two double crochets into the same space This was the row with the puff stitches. I started with my border, then one double crochet, the second double crochet, and the third double crochet into the spaces. These double crochets are my increases. I turn my row, a slip stitch into the space, chain three, one double crochet into the same space, chain two, and another two double crochets into the same space. And here I work again the row with the puff stitches. Here's my double crochet into the chain from the double crochet. I'm going to work one new double crochet, a puff stitch with four yarn overs into the same chain. The first yarn over the second yarn over, the third yarn over, and the fourth yarn over. I hold the yarn with my fingers, I grab the yarn, pull through all the loops except the first one. I insert my hook into the space, I grab the yarn, pull through. And now I have three loops on my hook. I grab the yarn and pull through these three loops into the same chain one double crochet now chain three skip the single crochet and go to the next double crochet into this chain a new double crochet and a puff stitch with four yarn overs the first yarn over the second yarn over, 
the third yarn over and the fourth yarn over. I hold the yarn with my fingers, I grab the yarn, pull through all the loops except the first one, I insert my hook into the space, grab the yarn, pull through. I have again three loops on my hook. I grab the yarn and pull through this three loops. And I do a double crochet into the same chain stitch. Chain three, skip the single crochet and go to the next double crochet. And also here, a new double crochet into the chain. One puff stitch with four yarn overs. The first one, the second yarn over, the third and the fourth yarn over. I hold the yarn with my fingers, I grab the yarn, pull through all the loops except the first one. I insert my hook into the space, I grab the yarn, pull through. I have now three loops on my hook. I grab the yarn and I pull through all these three loops. Into that same chain stitch, one double crochet. And I finish the row without chain with two double crochets into the space, chain two and another two double crochets into the same space. I started with one puff stitch, then I did two and now have three puff stitches. I start again with a slip stitch into the space. chain three, this is my first double crochet, and one double crochet into the same space. Chain two and another two double crochets into the same space. In this row I'm going to work now the double crochets again and the double crochets are my increases. So without chain I go into the space between the puff stitch and the double crochets and I do a new double crochet into the space. And now chain three and the chain over the puff stitch, one single crochet, chain three into the space one double crochet, chain three, into the chain over the puff stitch one single crochet, chain three, into the space one double crochet, chain three, into the chain over the puff stitch, one single crochet, chain three, into the space between the puff stitch and the double crochets, one double crochet. Now without a chain, into the space, two double crochets, one two, chain two and then another two double crochets into the same space. I turn my work, a slip stitch into the space, chain three, one double crochet into the space, chain two and another two double crochets into the same space. In this row, I'm going to work now puff stitches. Here is my double crochet into the chain from the double crochet, one double crochet into the same chain one puff stitch with four yarn overs. The first yarn over the second yarn over, the third yarn over and the fourth yarn over. I hold the yarn with my fingers, 
I grab the yarn, pull through all the loops except the first one. Two loops out my hook. I insert my hook into the space, grab the yarn, pull through. I grab the yarn and I pull through all the three loops I have on my hook. Into the same chain, one double crochet. Now, chain three. Go to the next double crochet and do a new double crochet into the chain. Into the same chain, one puff stitch. The first yarn over, the second yarn over, the third yarn over, and the fourth yarn over. I hold the yarn with my fingers. I grab the yarn, pull through all the loops except the first one. I insert my hook into the space, grab the yarn, pull through. I have now three loops on my hook. I grab the yarn and pull through this three loops. Into the same chain, I do one double crochet. Chain three, and I go to the next double crochet. And here again, one double crochet into the chain, one puff stitch into the same chain, one yarn over, the second yarn over, the third yarn over, and the fourth yarn over. I hold the yarn with the fingers, I grab the yarn, pull through all the loops except the first one. I insert my hook into the space, I grab the yarn, pull through. I grab the yarn and pull through all the three loops I have on my hook. I do into the same chain one double crochet. Chain three and I go to the last double crochet. One double crochet into the chain and the puff stitch into the same chain. and one more double crochet into the same chain. And now without chain stitches, I go to the space between the double crochets and I do two double crochets into the same space. Chain two and another two double crochets into the same space. I have now four puff stitches. Let's do this too. I start again with a slip stitch into the space and chain three. One double crochet into the same space, chain two, and another two double crochets into the same space. In this row, I do now my double crochets again, and those are my increases. So without a chain, one double crochet into the first space. I continue three chains into the chain over the puff stitch, one single crochet, chain three, into the space, one double crochet. Chain three, one single crochet into the chain over the puff stitch. Chain three, one double crochet into the space. Chain three, over the puff stitch, one single crochet into the chain, chain three, one double crochet into the space, chain three, over the puff stitch, into the chain, one single crochet, chain three, into the space, 
between the double crochets in the puff stitch one double crochet and now without a chain into the last space two double crochets one two chain two and another two double crochets into the same space. So I started with my border, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Without a chain, I did one double crochet into the first space. And then alternately, chain three, one single crochet over the puff. Chain three, one double crochet into the space. Chain three, single crochet over the puff chain three double crochet into the space when I do my last single crochet over the puff chain three one double crochet then without chain my border into the last space double crochets two chain two two double crochet I turn my work and I start again with a slip stitch into the space chain three and one double crochet into the same space chain two and another two double crochets into the same space in this row I'm going to work now the puff stitches so without the chain I go to my first double crochet and into the chain one double crochet and one puff stitch with four yarn overs the first yarn over, second yarn over, third yarn over, and the fourth yarn over. I hold the yarn with my fingers, I grab the yarn and I pull through all the loops except the first one and I have now two loops on my hook. I insert my hook into the space, I grab the yarn, pull through and I have now three loops on my hook. I grab the yarn and I pull through all these three loops. One double crochet into the same space. And from now, I start to work now with chains. Three chains. I skip the single crochet and I go to the next double crochet. Into the chain, one double crochet. one puff stitch with four yarn overs the first yarn over the second yarn over third yarn over the fourth yarn over i hold the yarn with my fingers i grab the yarn pull through all the loops except the first one i insert my hook into the space i grab the yarn pull through i have three loops on my hook and i grab the yarn and pull through this three loops one double crochet into the same chain chain three i skip the single crochet and i go to the next double crochet one double crochet into the chain from the double crochet and one puff stitch with four yarn overs And into the same chain one double crochet and again chain three skip the single crochet and go to the next double crochet one double crochet into the chain from the double crochet a puff stitch with four yarn overs the first yarn over second yarn over third yarn over and the fourth yarn over. I hold the yarn with my fingers, I grab the yarn, pull through all the loops except the first one, I insert my hook into the space, I grab the yarn, pull through. I grab the yarn now and I pull through all the loops I have on my hook. One double crochet into the same chain. Chain three, I skip the single crochet and I go now to my last double crochet and again 
one double crochet into the chain and one puff stitch. The first yarn over, second yarn over, third yarn over and the fourth yarn over. I hold the yarn with my fingers, I grab the yarn, pull through all the loops except the first one. I insert my hook into the space, I grab the yarn, pull through. Now I have three loops on my hook. I grab the yarn and I pull through these three loops. And one double crochet into the same chain. Now without the chain, I go to my last space to crochet my border. So I do two double crochets into the space, one, two, chain two, and another two double crochets into the same space. And that's it. We have always to repeat this two rows. It's a very pretty and very easy pattern and when it grows up I'm sure you will love it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. I want to show you much more beautiful knitting and crochet patterns. Until next time, thank you.